Some people think they're good in math and science, and others think they're good in art and music. It's like you're either logical or creative. You're either techy or artsy, but not both. I've never understood that. I like math, and I'm pretty good at it. But I also love creative arts like drawing, dancing, and ballet. And for a long time, I didn't know how it could fit together. And I definitely didn't think it had to do anything with STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. When I first heard about STEM classes, I thought it was about coding, math problems, or maybe a bunch of kids just playing computer games. But I am a curious person, so I tried it. When I went for my first class, I saw that there were workstations with tools and materials and iPads showing step-by-step -step videos. And I learned that we use programs to test and design our own models. But before we build anything, we had to plan it out, make sure it works, and know we have all the materials we need. One of the first things I built was with a 3D pen. It was a mini skateboard with my name on it. That took steady hands, patience, and a lot of trial and error. I had to figure out how to layer the plastic and make it stand so it would be strong enough to hold its shape. I'm also learning about robotics by building small robots and programming them on the laptop. I tell them when to turn, when to stop, and how to follow a path. I also build a trust bridge out of popsicles. I had to figure out how to layer the plastic and make it stand so it will be strong enough to hold its shape. I've started teaching my younger brother, Adam, how to build things too. He goes to STEM as well, but on a different program. I tell them how to build the projects I've already done. Together, we build boomerangs, little models, and even simple games. Helping my brother learn makes me realize how much I've learned. Not only how to build cool things, but how to be helpful, curious, and willing to figure things out together. But even when you follow the instructions, doesn't mean everything goes smoothly. In fact, they usually don't. Sometimes your design looks perfect on screen, but doesn't work in real life. Sometimes things don't fit, don't balance, or just don't turn out the way you imagined. And sometimes you have to take it apart and start all over again. That might sound frustrating, and honestly, it can be. But that's also where most of the learning happens. Because one thing I didn't expect to learn in STEM was resilience. When something breaks or doesn't work, you can't just quit. You adjust. You fix. You try again. That's not just a STEM skill. It's a life skill. If we look around our homes, we can see some pretty amazing things someone had to invent. The microwave, the washing machine, even the voice assistant that tells you the weather or plays your favorite songs. Someone had to imagine them. Someone had to think of them. And someone had to make them useful in real life. And that made me wonder, what would I invent? Maybe a machine to fold the laundry? Maybe a robot to make me breakfast? And if it could figure out how to do my homework, I wouldn't complain. Or maybe it could help my brothers get along for more than five minutes. Now that would be some serious invention. But jokes aside, that's what STEM really is. 
It's math with art. It's science with creativity. It's problem solving with imagination. All the things I love combined in ways I didn't expect. And then it hit me. Maybe liking math doesn't mean you can't be an artist. Maybe being a scientist doesn't mean you can't be artistic. You don't have to choose a side. You just have to be willing to try. So, if you're someone who likes to draw anime characters, build cardboard castles, tinker with Lego, build things no one has ever seen, you might already be amazing at STEM, you just don't know it yet. The future needs more builders, more dreamers, and more designers who think differently, build bravely, and solve creatively. Maybe I'll be one of them. And maybe so will you. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you.